Purge here, and in this video, we're gonna break down the new Revit Stratum GTX jacket and pants. So really what you're looking here is two different jackets and two different pairs of pants in one combination. So Pat McHugh, for the first time, and I can remember in Revzilla history, is gonna do a, uh, a change, if you will. We're going to uh, have him do a little set change in the outfit that he's wearing, because really what we're seeing with the Stratum series from Revit is that there is an outer Gore-Tex shell and an outer Gore-Tex pant shell on top of the jacket underneath. And really what this is designed for is hardcore adventure riders that are spending time in all kinds of inclement weather as well as non-inclement weather. And you're riding on-road, you're riding off-road, you want flexibility with your gear. This is gonna give that to you. So this sits slightly below the Dominator and Revit's line. This is gonna be $1,400 for the jacket and $1,100 for the pants. That is a steep price. It's really been no surprise to see the prices have been increasing, but I think with Revit too, you know, some of this stuff is coming in on the pricier side, but there's a lot of technology going on here. So before you judge it, let's walk through it. Keep in mind the GTX stands for Gore-Tex. So this is gonna be a three layer Gore Pro shell um, for both the top as well as the bottom. And then we're getting three layer Gore Armor Core on the shoulders and then down the arm for this. The CE level protection is all baked into this. As it stands with the complete outfit, you're looking at a CE AA rating for the entire piece. But then when we look at the armor, the armor is actually baked into the inside outfit. So I know what you're thinking. It's like a, it's like a Russian nesting doll here, people. We're gonna peel back the layers. We're gonna see what's underneath. But let's start off with sizing. The Q on my left-hand side is wearing a large in the jacket as well as the pants. Size will range from a small up to a 4XL. Only one color available, which is the black and anthracite, which is what Mr. McHugh is wearing right now. Pat stands at six feet tall. He weighs roughly 220 pounds, if he's being honest with us. He has a 44 inch chest and he himself has admitted, we got the sample in a large, he would probably bump up to an extra large in the pants as well as the jacket. Now, the jacket especially, you'll see when we take this off, it is very, it is very snug on him, um, but the pants, We'll have a separate conversation around that because the actual inner pant fits him quite well in a large, but when you get into the outer pant, there's no stretch in there. That's gonna be one of my nitpicks that I'll get to um, that we'll talk about. So just keep that in mind, use Revit sizing chart. But again, if you're looking at Pat's measurements, he typically wears his jeans in a size 34. He would be, should be, an extra large in both the jacket and the pants. He is squeezed himself into a large for the sake of this video. The things that this man sacrifices for to make great content for the internet. So let's start by talking about the outer shell. So again, you're gonna see the, uh, the Armor Core Gore three layers up on the shoulders, working its way down. You are getting direct venting um, through the, uh, the biceps on this, and then you're gonna have vents on the back. You're also gonna have a large chest vent. We'll get there, Pat, don't open it just yet. The other thing you'll note too here is that you've got this big removable hood. So when Pat zips this up and puts the hood on, you can put a helmet right over top of it, but maximum weather protection. Frankly, I think unless you're really going for it, this is a bit bulky to wear in everyday use. I'd probably use the YKK zipper to take that off. Now, the other thing you're gonna note here is that you've got this pocket on the inside, not really a vent here, but you've got these big pulls. You've got, holy Lord, that's beefy. Now, you've also got the pops reflective through the side here. When you get down to the cuff, just one big piece of Velcro on the outside cuff on this. And really, as you're thinking about this, this is a very competent weatherproof shell. The main body on this is gonna be the Gore's three-layer Gore Pro shell. You are getting the abrasion resistance on the outside. There's more protection baked in. So really, when you're thinking about this, it's just that really high-tech weatherproof shell. McHugh, go ahead and face sideways for me. Striking the riding position, you're gonna see the pops are reflective working back down the arm. Little extra bits of abrasion resistance out here on the back elbow. And then you're gonna see you do have direct venting on the back as well. So when we're talking about waterproof protection, the nice thing about Gore is you are getting that direct vent. So in the warmer months, you know, you can open that up and even if it's raining, get a little bit of ventilation through there without sacrificing too much on the waterproof front. As you work your way down the pants, and we're gonna highlight the pants a lot with this too, you can see there's a large external zipper, so you can get this on and off, almost like an overpant, using that large external zipper on this. Very kind of a slim trim design to this. And again, one of the things that we'll note when we get around to the back is that there's not really any stretch here. This is gonna be a pretty form-fitting piece, 
but without enough stretch built in to really kind of flow with you unless you are sizing up. That's where McHugh, if he was just wearing the underpants portion of this, would probably be fine in a large, but we would recommend sizing up to the extra large to accommodate the lack of stretch with the outer pants. Go ahead and face backwards for me, sir. Underneath the hood, you can see you've got the Revit hanger up top, Popper Reflective in the Revit logo. As you work your way down, um, there is a back protector in there. That's in the inside jacket. We'll get there. I know you're excited to see him take his pants off. I am too, but we're not there yet. You have a little rabbit pouch pocket on the back if you want to use it. One of the things I'm going to do is just kind of pull the jacket up so you can see the top of the pants here. Now, at the yoke on the back, what you will notice is that there is no stretch built in. Now, you do have zippered pockets on the seat of the pant, and you can see this, you know, the, uh, the material, the three-layer pro as it works its way down, but would have loved to have seen just a bit of stretch worked into the shell as well. As you take a look down the bottom of the pant, what you will see is you do have the Velcro at the bottom, something very typical with Revit pants, so you can kind of fine-tune how that outer pant sits around the boot. When we get to the inside pants, it's gonna be an in-the-boot design. So really, when we're looking at the waterproofing on this, you want to use the outside pant to go down around the top of your boot to make sure water is not popping in from the top. McHugh, go ahead and face forward for me. And this is where I'm going to have you just unzip the, uh, the middle portion of this. And what you're going to have here is another vent. So if you're just unzipping that uh, outside zipper, the main center strip here acts as a, as a large airway vent. Now, the main note with the outer pant is that you are going to have two thigh vents. And again, with the, the Gore Pro layer here, you're gonna have those directly venting in. And then you do have some lighter gripper panels on the inside here. I would say probably not gonna be as sophisticated as what we're gonna see when we get to the in pant. But the main note with the outer pant is that this is designed to be worn over top of the boot. Now, let's go ahead and have Pat take his pants off and we'll get to the inside. Okay, so Pat is in the under outfit now, and this is really the magic, as far as I'm concerned, of the Stratum GTX. This is where all the CE level protection lives. This is where all the stretch is built in. And if you're riding an adventure bike off-road and you get to the trail and you're gonna take that Gore-Tex layer off, this is where all the mobility comes from. So really what we're gonna see here is this sophisticated kind of a hybrid setup between adventure gear and dirt gear. So all the armor is built into the jacket like you would see traditionally from adventure gear. However, the jacket itself is lightweight and extremely stretchable. So you get great range of motion and mobility, which is what we would see from dirt gear. Um, and then when we get into the pants, it's an in the boot design, which is typically what we see from, from the dirt side of things. And you've got a lot of stretch built in there too. Knee armor is included in the pants, which is more of your adventure world. We'll get to that in just a minute because I've got some thoughts there. Let's start with the jacket and work our way through this from the shoulder down. One of the things he really likes about this is the main construction on the shoulders is a PWR ripstop. Now, keep in mind that the PWR that you're gonna find, that's proprietary to Revit. That is their special sauce material. There's a lot of stretch built into this and that ripstop that's built in means that if he does snag it on a tree branch or something and, it's, and it starts to tear, it won't continue to tear. So it maintains the integrity of the, uh, the outfit itself. And you're gonna see that works its way all the way down through his impact zone on the elbows and then down to where he has a little bit of a monkey paw with a softer material with an elasticated band to the, 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 to the top of the wrist on this. Now, from an armor perspective, you're gonna see the armor that's gonna be used in the main impact zones is gonna be a CE level two C-flex armor. That's in your shoulders, your elbows, as well as your knees. When you're looking at the hip, uh, you are going to have a CE1 uh, hip protector, and we get to the back, that is going to be CE level C flex as well. So the C smart armor, the only place you're going to see that is in the CE1 rated hip armor. There is a pocket for a chest protector, but the chest protector isn't included as standard. Now, in addition to all the ripstop PWR, you are going to have PWR mesh throughout the main chassis on this as well. That is gonna be a very sophisticated mesh technology that allows breathability, but it's going to give you the integrity you need in motorcycle apparel to take a crash. And again, like I said, this is where all that CEAA rating is coming from with this under layer. Now you are gonna have larger pockets, stash pockets up front. I wouldn't call them hand warmer pockets because again, we're looking at mesh at this point, but nice little additional places to store something whether it's a cell phone or maybe uh, some spare inflator tubes or something along those lines. The other thing you'll notice 
is you've got these little pulls on the top here. This is for your hydration pack. They've partnered with Kriega on this for a hydration pack for the back that you can then use these pass-throughs as a loop around. Um, we'll unzip in a minute, but McHugh, go ahead and face sideways for me. Strike the riding position. You can see the popper reflective as it comes up. You can see the mesh underneath the armpit for massive amounts of airflow. The one note here is that it would have been nice to have a little bit more of a drop seat and maybe a little bit more room in the waist. One of the things McHugh and I were talking about is like, this is a large, it is a bit small for him. If he would have had just a little bit of extra adjustability in the bottom here, he probably could have made a large work. Where you're not gonna be able to see that is when we get into, if you wanted to add a hydration pack, that's where bumping up to the extra large is definitely gonna be what he would wanna do based on his size. Take a look at the pants though. As we work our way down the pants, you got Pops Reflective working down the side. Really nice, sleek, slim design. And then you're gonna get that in the boot design, which I'm personally a big fan of. CE level one hip armor. That's what we were talking about earlier. McHugh, go ahead and face backwards for me. Now, starting with the top, working our way down. You do have that pull on the outside here for when you wanna hang the jacket up. You're gonna notice a zipper across the back. This is where you can put the hydration pack if you so choose. But again, that's where McHugh would wanna go ahead and size up one size to be able to fit a hydration pack comfortably in there. CE level one back protector is included. And then there is a little bit of a stash pocket. Now what we will say is if you wanna fold that gore layer up and shove it in there, you can do so. You can make it work, kinda of give you a little hump on the back. Um, the one thing to note is that there's not enough of a storage pouch in there to be able to fit the pants gore layer and the jacket in there. So you would need to be able to stow the pants layer somewhere else on the motorcycle. Looking down the back on this, there's gripper panels on the bottom of the seat. Same with the gore layer I failed to mention earlier, but there's gripper panels on both the outer layer and the inner layer. This just works so when you're seated, you're not sliding back and forth. And when you're trying to grip the bike with your knees, actually we can see it more from the front fa face forward for me, Pat. So you'll see the gripper panels down the knees. You get these nice leather gripper panels on the inside pant. It was a textile gripper on the gore. So you're now getting that leather, which is very what, much what we would see in line with like a true dirt pant. The one thing to note is that that CE level armor is included in the knee. Like I mentioned earlier, that is gonna be very reminiscent of something from the adventure world. For those of us that are spending more of our time riding off road, chances are we wear standalone knee protection, either knee guards or knee braces. The one note here, despite all the amazing stretch in these pants, and I'm not being sarcastic, they're very darn comfortable, there's not enough stretch to really take the knee armor out and wear these with standalone knee braces. So my one critique is that if you are someone that wants to maximize your protection and you are truly riding your adventure bike crazy hard off road and you use knee braces, you're gonna struggle to be able to get these pants over top of knee braces even if you pull that knee armor off. So just a bit of a critique there. They really are designed to be used with the armor that's included. The problem is that armor that's included, you know, no matter how good it gives you impact protection on the street, it's not gonna give you that same level of twisting and turning protection that you get when you bump up to a standalone set of knee braces. And when you're riding at this level, you're probably considering that. So just something to keep in mind. Now, McHugh, go ahead and unzip it, the jacket for me from the front. Taking a look at the inside, just a simple classic mesh liner. You are getting inside storage pockets. You can see over on that side as well. The one thing to note is you do have a kidney belt which wraps around, holds everything nice and secure in place. And then when you work your way down, this is what we really like about the, the pants on this. You got Velcro adjustability, you got max amounts of stretch, you got some ripstop up at the top. One of the things that's really notable here is that they're extremely comfortable. The problem that we have is when you put the outside Gore-Tex layer pants on, it doesn't have any of that stretch or any of that adjustability. So you're really kind of stuck in one size has to fit you. So you need to make sure that when you're trying these on at home, the outside layer fits you because you're not gonna have the comfort and the stretch like you will with this inside layer. One of my biggest nitpicks here is these pockets are comically tiny. Like if I wanted to put my, pan, my hand in, in Pat's pocket here, which I don't want to do, because again, HR violations, um, but like you can't even fit your whole hand in here. It's a very tiny little pocket. I wonder if that's just really, maybe Europeans have smaller hands than us Americans. Who knows? Um, but again, as you're working your way through the pants, I love the in the boot design. That's how I prefer to wear my off-road pants. I do think as long as you're comfortable only wearing the knee armor that comes with the pants, I think it does a very good job of holding the armor directly to your knee. The pants are very stretchy, they're very comfortable. Um, again, my only real critique, you know, joking aside, 
would be that I would love to be able to put these on over top of a pair of knee braces. So other than that, I think it's a really competent outfit that Revit has created here. Obviously, it is sitting at the top of the food chain, not quite dominator level, but it is coming in around $2,500 if you go with the jacket and the pants. But like I said, it's really two separate outfits in one. You're getting this really kind of technical, sophisticated ADV meets dirt biking gear on the underneath layer. And then you've got a really sophisticated gore three layer pro shell that works on the outside. And you can kind of mix and match how you want to use those. So if you're looking for something for all weather, there's obviously a lot of different pieces to choose from within Revit's line. And some of it can be a bit confusing. I would say if you want more information on, on what you've seen here, you want to click the information button on your desktop or mobile device. That'll allow you to kind of skim through other rider reviews of how they feel the Revit Stratum is, uh, is working in their line. I mean, just keep in mind that GTX stands for Gore-Tex. And then, you know, if you're still not sure, reach out to one of our customer service reps. They can walk you through all the different pieces of gear available to make sure that you have the right outfit for whatever your adventure is. I want to thank you for joining us today as Pat McHugh has done a sophisticated gear change for you. And uh, we have walked through the newest lineup of uh, what Revit's offering for you adventure riders out there. But for now, I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.